Final part of learn HTML forms by building a registration form on Free Code Camp. And we're on step 51 now. So if you look close enough, you'll notice that the inline elements are too high on the line. Um, and so we want to set the vertical align property to middle. So, sorry, within here, vertical dash align property to middle. And you can see that brings them in line there. Perfect. So step 52, to make the input and text area elements blend in with the background, we want to set their background color to this value. Um, so input and text area, and let's do background dash color to that. And that needs to be a hex code, so it should have the sort of the hash in front. And we also want to give them a border. Uh, of one px solid and then that color as well so the same color and as you can see here there they are so currently if you type in the input or text area um, you won't be able to see the text um, and also the height is too small so whilst there is text there you can't actually see it because it's black so we can fix this by setting the color um, to white that will be so that's uh, four, five, six, that's six Fs, um, which is just pure white. Um, and then set their min height to 2M. So 2M. And there we go. Okay. So step 54, you want to select, uh, sorry, you want the select element, element to remain with a white background, but now it's getting the same min height um, as the input. So if we see down here, I think that's the select element um, and text area. So move the min height property and value um, so that all three elements have the same min height and the select element still has a white background. So you want to move that min height property, um, which was here. I'm gonna take that out of this one. And I believe we want to put it um, so all three elements have the same in height. So yeah, so that's going to be this one here where we're applying it to, to all of them. There we go. Perfect. So step 55, to style the submit button, you can use an attribute selector, which selects an element based on the given attribute value. So for an example, if you want to style a, sort of a password input, um, you can do it like this. And actually, it looks like we do want to, so I'm going to grab that. Um, paste that here. This is our selector. So then within there, we've got our styles. Um, so let's do display block as suggested and width of 60% like so. And is that our input password? Uh, let's check that code. Oh, sorry we want to style the submit button so that would be submit and that's down here and for, i think it's kind of just out of focus but there's the submit button um ah, of course sorry it's type because it's a type of button um not the name so there we go and if i show you that now that's looking a little bit better okay so next one, 56, we want to give it the display block. Um, but as you can see, that then goes to the sort of the, the far left. So using the same technique used to center the form, center the submit button. So that was, I think, text align um, center. Let's just try that. If not, um, we can play around Yeah, with the, so we want to check where the form element, what we're doing. Oh, and that's just using margin for that. So there's probably, sort of five or more different ways we can um, align items yeah sorry it was it wasn't going to be text align um, but now if i bring that over you can see the submit button is centered um, horizontally um, and vertically i guess um, sort of well within its space but certainly um, horizontally um, within that that line it has so step 57, to make the submit button look more in line with the rest of the form, give it a height as the other fields. So that would be height of 2M. And we want to increase the font size to 1.1 rem. 
so font dash size uh, 1.1 rem like so uh, we should be able to see that here there we go so it's a bit larger so cool that's passed step 58 to make the submit button appear more distinct give it a background color um, of this hex code here and a border color of white so let's do background dash color just paste that in but a border color of white um, and this is sort of a as you can see a value it's not the hex code um, which is six f's or three f's even as sort of the shorthand um, but it still is the same color at the end of the day so step 59 lastly for the submit button you want to make it separate from the field set above which adjusts its width to never be below 300 pixels so change the margin property to include 1m top and bottom 1m top and bottom and the um, left and right margins are still set to auto and then we want to explicitly set the width as 300 pixels um, so that will sorry be I guess min width if I'm correct and there we go that's passed so as you can see just to confirm we're setting the width at 60% we were um, we want the margin to be 1m top and bottom and auto left and right and the min width is 300 and then anything above that will be um, yeah sort of sorted out automatically um, else it'll be 60%. So step 60, most browsers inject their own default CSS properties and values for different elements. And if you look closely, you might notice that the input file, as you can see here, has slightly different text and is smaller than the other elements. Um, and by default, a padding of one PX um, top and bottom, and two left and right is given to input elements you can type in. So using another attribute selector, style the input um, that has a type so if you remember we want to do this syntax so that will be a bracket here type equals input or oh, sorry file and we want to give it the same padding as other input elements so padding and the padding that we've used so far is I guess this let's just check yeah, that's the only padding we've used unless they mean one or two pixels but um oops let's try that let's just check that code no okay so yeah sorry it is one one px two px like so cool there we go that's passed so step 61 speaking of padding the submit button is sitting at the bottom of the form element so we just want to add 2m padding only to the bottom so we'll do padding dash bottom and that's 2m like that um, alternatively we it, and it might ask us or it didn't this time but to use just padding and then we would use the four values um, and it would be top right bottom which where we set the 2m so it'd be 0 0 2m 0 so top right bottom left perfect step 62 last but not least change the text color of the terms and conditions link uh, to this so we'll just select the anchor tag we'll set the color to that hex code and if i show you the form now and bring it over to the side you can see that the terms and conditions color text has changed um, and it's looking a lot better than um, when we started right with our sort of default html styles um, and yeah the form works quite well has some validation and as you can see the radio buttons are all linked up um, we can choose file there's some and obviously an age range within here so 13 um, to 120 um, and yeah it's looking like quite a good little form so let's check that and that's passed so cool that is everything um, for this video on the learn html um, forms by building a registration form and now you can see here this is one of the projects of building a survey form um, i'm probably not going to do this because i've done the projects previously when i was first learning the code um, sort of back in the summer of 2020 um, going through this certificate now the legacy one um, but yeah definitely recommend to check this out um, and you know if you do complete it feel free to add in any of your code pen or github links in the comments below um, and share that with others as well that might be learning um, yeah that might be quite nice to do 
Um, but I certainly hoped the, you know, these videos help um, with this survey form. And obviously, if you do get stuck, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help. But anyway, thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video.